Hey, Puss New Puss Net, new video. This one um, is to do a little bit of an update on uh, what's in the bag. <laughs> oh, it's rattle. <laughs> so, um, uh, I was mentioning before that, uh, so I'm working on the bag. I was waiting for a few components to arrive. I'm still waiting for some. Um, I just did a video on the box that's going to go in it. That's still a project on the go because I still have to figure out how I'm going to do the Raspberry Pi. Um, so, and I know I mentioned before, probably February, I was going to do the contest. We're looking maybe more now May because before I get all the stuff and figure it out how it works and stuff like that. But, uh, I think it's going to be awesome because I added uh, stuff that I didn't plan initially. Well, initially, it was going to be mostly uh, HF, uh, VHF, sorry. And um, uh, now doing more study. And again, that's why I'm great that I did this project. It's uh, increasing my knowledge because I have to do stuff and I'm trying to make something that is um, uh, impressive. And, um, and by limiting myself with what in the bag and everything it gets me to think outside the box. Uh, to fit everything in there and also with the price and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I think I um, I found something that was pretty good and and because the delays and everything was great because there's a new thing and I'll, I'll put links on the videos that explain a little bit what it is. There's this new radio that's kind of raving into all the amateur radio. And one of the reasons it is is that it's a HF radio, so high frequency, not a VHF. And a lot of people pay 30 or willing to pay $30 for a radio like um, uh, Biofang, uh, about $40 for a HF radio. Yep, so 40 it's actually a little bit higher now. The price went up at $59 US, but yeah, a full HF radio, it's not full, but uh, it works on HF 40 meter band. But the beauty with this, and so why is it in a bag like this? This is a little bit of an experiment right now. Uh, so when you build radios, uh, it's a big antenna, so they receive a lot of stuff. And so, and we're surrounded by things that are wireless, especially now in our days. Um, electricity makes uh, sounds. Uh, we don't hear it, but uh, the radio is here. So um, electricity makes sounds. Your uh, um, everything around you makes a lot of sounds and so sometimes when you try to communicate with stuff RF so um, interference can get into the radio so when my my thought of and so a lot of time that's why the radios are built with uh, metals to kind of keep those RF out but to keep it lightweight and portable and not too big I thought hey how about those uh, bags that uh, are for statics and everything, which some people use sometimes for a ferric cage because they block a little bit of RF. And so I thought I would put my box inside the bag. And what I did is a radio. So basically it works on, like I was saying, on the 40 meter band. So this is the box that came with it. And again, I'll, you'll have links of videos of uh, what's the project kind of looks like, but it's uh, it, it works. Uh, if it works like I mean I still have to test it and everything um, but I'm just finishing uh, putting up together so now I'm in the testing phase um, but I, also I built a microphone for it and so uh, there's a little button here and then you can talk into it and you can um, uh, do your VFO uh, and there's a little speaker too so I'm waiting to hear a little bit uh, more from uh, someone to uh, put the, the final touch before I can try it. Uh, one of the reasons because um, I want to be able to put a microphone uh, and a speaker and so that way if, when you put headphones, sorry, and a speaker, that the speaker gets disconnected. But I've never worked with the uh, little things that they send with, with the kit came. And so, uh, but somebody was doing it, the one that I'll put the links on for the videos. And um, I'm waiting for his answer to see how he did it. Um, and so that I can do the same thing. But yeah, uh, very portable radio. Uh, uh, and so if it works, it would be great. And the 40 meter band, I think we mentioned before why I wanted to go in that way, is that it works on pretty much all the condition um, that it's days or night. Uh, so if you had like one band to choose, 40 meter is the great band for that um, because it works on everything. 
The other advantage as well is that if you want to do Nevis, which we be discussed before in other videos, 40 meter is about the lowest that you can go. So usually it works better at 80 and higher, but at 40 you can do it. Uh, so at 40 that means we'll be able to use her antennas uh, to 40. So then we receive the antenna, which is a 40 meter band antenna. Look at that, everything gets into place. So very compact, very lightweight, um, still in this package when it first came in. Uh, so this came from Soda Beam. Uh, it's a full 40 meter band, but um, also it can be used on 20 meters uh, because it's a, the, 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 it's a half wavelength. And so it's great for 20 and 40. Uh, so we'll see if it's true. Like this is based on what it is. Uh, it's very compact, very lightweight, fits great into the bag. And so, uh, so that's the antenna. And then with every antenna, you always have to have a, uh, well, not every time, but uh, most of the antennas you have to have, uh, you have to, uh, depending on the frequency that you use, you have to be able to uh, tune it. So this is a, auto tuner so basically what you do is that you plug you plug your radio over here your antenna over here and then based on uh, the tuning you um, you tune your antenna to make it to the frequency and to be able to radiate the maximum power because if that's especially when you're using low power the maximum power that you can send to your antenna better your reception will be when you're 100 watts if you lose like 10 or 20 watts you're like you're still 80 pound uh, 80 watts but if you lose 5 watts with a 10 watts well, that means like you got 5 watts you're at 50 percent so uh so it's very important to have uh, as much um better reception with the antenna and the better uh propagation that you can get and so this is where an antenna tuner is and so uh we'll build i built that and so we'll be able to play once the radio works uh, again very small very compact very lightweight and then to go with all that system we have the the it's called the easy dg vox and if it works again a lot of those are like concepts uh never been tried or and didn't see any videos or or read anything about that stuff so everything is kind of uh, putting a, a whole piece together to see if it works but if it works uh basically it's uh uh you put uh in, mic in mic out and what it my goal is is that so if you we use this basically now with a computer or a tablet or something so just by using the mic out of the tablet and stuff um, and you plug that in and go out so that means now that or even an iphone i think it works uh, well, or phone it works with is that now you can plug your uh, phone in and now you could do digital mode again very small very lightweight uh not very expensive and so that means that if all this works add a phone or a tablet to this and now basically you could make uh, CW if you want I think it does uh, the CW zone on it so if you could plug somehow the CW I know there's some hacks and this is the beauty with this system the BTX 40 is that it's made for being hacked and then uh, every week there's somebody else that comes with a new ideas and stuff like that so probably I think there's probably a way to make CW with this but if you want but uh, that, that so that means now you could as uh, um, uh, short uh, sidebands with that and digital hopefully so with that system uh, then I want to try on the 40 meter band and you'll be able to tune your antenna to make maximum stuff so so far that's what all in the bag and all this for Oh, about uh, less than $160. So out of the $500, we're doing pretty good, and we have HF capacity. So let's say uh, let's say it's $170. Uh, add a thirty dollars like Baofeng, and so now for two hundred dollars, and we still have three hundred. We have VHF, HF, uh, and uh, be able to do digital ca capacity if you add your phone and uh, apps, which are a lot of them are free. 
So, um, so far, I can't wait to be able to finish the project. So go outside and try those things and try to whisper and see what's the propagation with the different antenna and different setup and there'll be videos to come through. But I wanted to do a quick update so that uh, people don't think I'm, uh, <laughs> I let the project die and there's nothing coming out. There is, it's just, uh, it's actually improving and it'll be a much better project than when I first started. So talk to you soon.